Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bone show. We're so thrilled to have on the show incredible singer, songwriter, guitarist, and he's got some great new music coming out as well with multiple albums, Billy Crane. How are you, Eric? Billy, it's good to see you. Thank you for having me today. You Thank know, you I, so much. I feel like we, we saw each other not long ago, but it's been a few years back when you were playing with the Bo Weevils with Charlie Daniels. Down at the Losers Club, yeah. that's right. It was a room full of media, and, and, uh, <laughs> and you were there. I, I was one of those. Yeah, but it's like it's so nice having you on now, and and you've got so many great music things going on. You and I were talking before we even came in studio, Billy, to where you know the things that you're doing for for the veterans. This new uh, this new video and song that you have out. Let's talk about this. Uh, well, it's something it, worth fighting. Yeah, for. something worth fighting for. Yeah, is a song that that I wrote uh, for the veterans. Uh, I've been working with the vets for the last five to six years in, in a group called uh, Freedom Sings USA down in Chattanooga. Yeah. And it's a therapeutic writing program it, it, is what we'll do is if, it, if we can get the vets in and, and get them to tell their story. That's mm -hmm. the hardest thing because sure. these vets have been through so much. Right. And if you can get them to tell their story, what we do is... is is we'll write that story and then we write a song around that and we go in the wow. studio and record it and release it and it's got this therapeutic value to it that it, it, uh, it's just amazing um, and, and, and recently um, I've had, had some health issues that, that's keeping me from driving down to Chattanooga and stuff so I decided to start um, one here up in the Smyrna area in right. Nashville. I know Nashville has Operation Song. I mm -hmm. think you, you right. worked with recently. Definitely. And uh, uh, so I wanted to get in the Smyrna Murfreesboro area. So uh, I got a, a, a 501c3 called Rogue Warrior Music. I was going to bring that up. And I also want to bring up too, Billy, to where, you know, I love the video and I, and I love the music and everything. And obviously you're such a prolific songwriter and so well known in Nashville and, and throughout the world with your songwriting, but that you're going to be doing more of these songs yes. at the studio, and you're also going to be putting together an album with the, with the veteran songs, right? Yes, definitely. We're we're, we're going to hopefully uh, start on the 29th of February. Start having our meetings uh, uh, in Smyrna. So as we write each song, I will go into. I have a studio at the house right. and record these songs and and um, and do an into a compilation to a CD and then release them. Wow. So uh, really excited about What a about great way to that. give back. And, and also I wanted to bring up, you know, besides that in your spare time, you've got your own solo album, Hoodie, coming out this year. It's about my, my kids. Have you ever noticed? <laughs> kids, every kid has got a hoodie. Right. And they got their hands jammed down. Totally. You know? And, and they they're, they're got their, uh, their iPhone in their pocket. Mm -hmm. And my wife and I wrote this song called Hoodie, and it's it's about this whole generation of kids that, that are just folding up, and the, and the album's concept is kind of around that. It seems like you're going to need, like, hoodie merch to go with that. <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know, once again, it's just how I think marketing-wise, Billy. I just think that, you know, maybe you're going to have to have well, some hoodies. you know, if I could get a hoodie endorsement because as much money as we spend on hoodies right <laughs> now, it's, it's off the charts. It's, it's the same with my daughter. But, you know, you've got, you've got the, the Veterans Project going on, which is incredible. You've got Hoodie coming out this summer. Also, you're already talking about another possible new album in the fall. And, oh, yeah, that, that one is a, a, a Christian a CD. I'm, I'm working, it's called Working Man's Jesus. I've got 12 songs uh, for it, some written with the pastor from my church. We right. go, go to Creekside Church out in uh, in Smyrna, uh -huh. and, and the, the, they're kind of I wouldn't say dark Christian, but that we take on subjects that that normally you wouldn't hear on in praise and worship right. songs and. Uh, well, you and know, also you're leading the praise team too, so it's like you're you're keeping your hand in all of it. I think it says in the book of Revelation somewhere when a crane leads the uh, the the uh, worship team that the end is near. Or good so. things happen. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, I got to, you know, as some people may not know, and certainly, you know, you've had uh, hit songs, you know, co-written for, uh, you know, the, the Chicks and also for Martina McBride and so many other artists. But, but your brother, Tommy Crane, Tommy. Uh, you know, I mean, so many of us growing up, you know, and, and you being so steeped in, 
in Southern Rock, you know, I mean, playing with the Outlaws and all these incredible Henry Paul band and all this. It's like going, you and your brother both, kind of the fab, part of that fabric of it Southern was, Rock, Billy. Well, you know, it's funny because uh, my father was a well-known uh, a contract here, uh, J. Uh, J. Uh, J. J. E. Crane and Son was mm -hmm. it. As a matter of fact, my father built the first recording studio in town, the Quonset Hut. Oh my gosh, that's uh, ridiculous! He, I didn't know this until he died recently, ten years ago. My sister, who worked for him, uh, told me this whole story that yeah, he built this first. And that was and that was studio. the first studio that here in was Nashville the first... where everybody recorded, even before RCA Studio B. But he he uh, he. Uh, thought his two sons were going to take over his business, and of course, <laughs> we went the other did, way. It did but, not happen. But, but yeah, Tommy taught me how to play when I was six, seven years old. He was nine, and uh, we were both just loved music so much. Mm -hmm. And he, he had a, my mom got him an acoustic guitar, and I wanted to play it, and he wouldn't let me play this guitar. <laughs> so one day he wasn't at the house, and I pulled it out, and I was banging away, and pop! String popped off of course. Him. I didn't know you could put a fix of string, so I put it up and I went and hid under my bed. And, <laughs> and, and my brother came home and he knew he knew I'd been playing because the string was broken. Oh yeah. So he left me under there for three hours and he finally stuck his head under there and went, "Hey Billy, you can come out now. I can fix the string." <laughs> so that's a good brother. Uh, oh yeah, he was. So he he taught me how to play and yeah. we we grew up. We saw. Uh, Dwayne Allman, many, many a time playing. Well, and you got to play Dwayne's guitar too. Yeah, and you got to jam so with cool. Dickie Betts from the Allman Brothers. Got to jam with. I mean, Dickie. you know, you you've had such a storied career that still keeps going, Billy. But I mean, you know, I mean, you've been on stage with Van Halen and with Marshall Tucker and with all these great Rolling bands. Stones, Rolling Stones, Stones, and also you played, you know, with Charlie Daniels, like we were talking with the Bow Weevils. I mean, what great life experiences! I, I, I tell you what, God has been so good to me, and I've, I've had this. I'm 69 now. I started professionally playing in clubs when I was 15. So for 54 years, I've got to make a living doing this. Mm -hmm. You know, I read in, in Musician Magazine uh, last year that 90, 99% of professional music, musicians cannot make a living doing this. Only 1%. Right. That's how hard it is. It is. Yeah, and we know yeah. it living here in Music City, and but you, and you've you done too, it. You've got a deep history. Yeah. Well, now you guys, you got to see his office. I walked in there, <laughs> there's amplifiers and guitars everywhere, and, and, and my attention span was just gone at that it's, point. It's Nashville, well, it's, you know. It's so Nashville. Well, and I got to ask you too, Billy, because I mean, you know, knowing your music, knowing your songs, the hits you've had, and everything else, what drew you to work with the veterans to do this? What 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 placed it in your heart to really? Because I mean, it's the, the video is powerful, and I know our viewers are going to go want to see this also on the YouTube channel and everything, but what made you want to do this, Billy? God, you know, um, Eric, I've been praying um, for a while. Okay, God, how can I use my music to help others? Mm -hmm. How can I help it to further your kingdom? I, I'm a firm believer in Jesus Christ. Uh, my wife and I are, and uh, i been praying over this, and uh, I, in the 90s, I tried to to come into the Christian music scene, but I didn't fit the mold. It, it, you, you know how yeah. it, it is, and yeah. uh, so I was was kind of brushed off of that. So I've been praying all this time. Well, I got a call from a fellow, fellow named Al Jarvis out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. They have this uh, thing called sound cores down there. Uh, I don't know if you see it. It, yeah. it's, it keeps it. It it's a record of all the musicians of Tennessee or something, mm -hmm. and all of songwriters. And Al went through this book of twelve thousand people, and he just happened to point, found, look at, and he looked at my picture, and he read about me. He goes, "I'm going to call this guy." He says, <laughs> "I don't think he'll come, but I'm going to call him." Wow! And he called me up and told me all about this. This. Uh, thing called Freedom Sings USA and what, mm -hmm. what it was. And, and I said, I'll be down next Thursday. And I went, Amazing. and that was six years ago, and I went down and, and just fell in love with these guys. Yeah. And, and it was, I didn't even realize it until recently my wife said to me, she goes, you know, God answered your prayers because 
this is what he brought into your life. Mm -hmm. and it's something you're really good at. I, I hit it off with, with the guys really well, and they took me in as one of their own, wow. which is amazing for right. armed forces. Well, and also you and I were talking about, you know, David. Corlew, yes. you know, that we're both friends with. Yeah, Journey Home Project. Journey Home yeah. Project that's done so much with Charlie Daniels. But it seems like so many great things happening with, with songs coming out, with new music, helping the veterans. I want to make sure, too, Billy, for our viewers, with the website, with social media, with everything that you're launching this year, how can our viewers be a part of this and help support this and help support the veterans and the songs you're doing? Where do they need to go? Okay. Uh, at this point... I have not completely got my company set up. It's going to be called Rogue Warrior Music. It's a 501c3. We will be starting uh, therapeutic writing sessions in, towards the end of February. I think the 29th we're shooting for at a place called Carpe Artista out in Smyrna. Um, we'll be, be taking donations once it's set up. Right now, all sa the sales on the single that we have out, the money is going... I'm, I'm, uh, direct and 100% of it goes to uh, Journey Home Project. Wow. It's a Charlie's project. Right. So uh, it, 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 at some point, you can buy the single through my website, which is www.billycrane.com. Yep. Uh, www.billycrane.com. Just amazing and, work. And I, I can't wait to hear more of the songs that you do with veterans, too, Billy. Be sure, go to his website. Billy's easy to find. I'll tell you what, you know, uh, once... He's like a legend in Nashville with his songwriting and everything he's accomplished. And obviously, you know his brother, Tommy Crane, as well. But, Billy, this is great work. I can't wait to hear more of the songs from veterans and uh, hear this entire album as it comes out this year. And your solo album, Hoodie. Hoodie. And I will have to get a and hoodie. And working man's Jesus. Yeah, yeah. you got a couple things going. What else can I do? Yeah, I think there's more. But I'll tell you what, Billy Crane, thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, thank you, Eric. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show.